it's closer to getting its problem with abandoned boats under control. It's a story we've been following all year. Boats left or forgotten by their owners littering local waterways. Now, after months of work, a state agency is getting the money it needs to get rid of some of those vessels. Our Madison Forsey is live at the Washington waterfront. Madison, what are local officials saying about this development? Well, Shayla, boats from Hurricane Matthew and Florence have been sitting, sinking, and floating in our waterways for years. But now state and local leaders finally have a way to get rid of them. There's a problem floating along our own crystal coast. Abandoned boats. Let's, let's just face it, this is pollution. Vessels of all shapes and sizes untouched after hurricanes littering marshes and harbors. Abandoned and derelict vessels are probably the most visible uh, of the, those pollution sources. For years, it's been a game of hot potato. State and local agencies arguing over who will deal with them and how. Last week, Governor Cooper signed a law giving the Wildlife Resources Commission $1 million to clean up the boats. You know, you can, there's plenty of boats out there, but if you don't have the authority to go out and pick them up, basically you're taking somebody's property and there's a, there can be a lot of tort liability there. The law defines what an abandoned vessel is and the process for removing them. It's a great start, and, and certainly uh, in advance of hurricane season, it's, it's really, really helpful. Uh, and I'm sure there will be lessons learned, that, and we'll, we'll take those lessons learned, and we'll just get better and better. Beaufort Mayor Rhett Newton says tackling these forgotten boats is a step towards cleaning up our waterways. We want to lead, and we're not afraid to, to look at some of our, our critical issues and start to address those. Uh, abandoned derelict vessels are just one of those areas. The Wildlife Resources Commission wants people to know that this is an emergency measure. It's mainly just focused on boats that have washed up from specific storms, and they're going to need more money and more support from the state to continue to battle this problem. For now in Washington, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.